This is Texas, cradle of our Army's Air Force. This is an AAF field, too. But over headquarters rides a strange little girl gremlin called Fifinella. And out of those buses are stepping girls. Girls who give a new angle to an Air Force story. They're wasps, women's Air Force service pilots. But even before they get a chance to take the polish off their nails, it's out onto a dusty Texas drill field with them. Right away, the Air Force wants to get a little muscle on those pretty arms. This scene provides a pretty fair picture of what the girls look like from uh, all angles. None of them are under 21 or over 35. Now, chinning yourself is a very wholesome kind of, uh, very wholesome kind of, uh, uh, thank you, sir. A very wholesome kind of conditioner for young ladies about to embark on a serious venture. It doesn't make much difference how they get you up. 6 a.m. at Avenger Field is no more pleasant or exciting than anywhere else. It's merely the beginning of another non-ladylike day of grind and GI study, which won't end until long after the Texas sun has set. Very simply and seriously, the wasps, girls like Mary Abbott, maybe a little younger, maybe older, are willing to plow into as rugged a six-month stretch as anything handed to women in the whole war effort. Map reading and physics, navigation and code, with strict AAF exams in each, too. For men, it would be tough. It's tough for girls, too. To be accepted as a wasp, each girl had to have 35 hours in the air beforehand. Enough to know men's airplane talk when they hear it. But flying here is different, Kay. The instrument board of that link trainer has instruments and radio devices and controls you never dreamed of. This is the Army, Kay. The Army judges each girl not by her eagerness, but by her ability to fly. The little blonde on the right with her hair bleached by the sun, you or I might judge by other standards. She doesn't. Lonnie, her name's Lenore Horton, is pretty serious about her flying, for the duration anyhow. She and her good friend from New York named Nancy Church have paired off as a flying buddy team. Nancy's riding the controls today and will get credit for the time. Lonnie gets some good practice on a radio and navigation. Next flight, they'll trade. There they go, Lonnie and Nancy, the two of them. Two girls of a large and important sorority, all of them just as determined to be good flyers, just as sincere, maybe just as pretty. Someday, not so far away, in a month or so, this trainer will be a P-47 or a P-38, being ferried from factory to field, from one field to another, with Lonnie or Nancy or Jean or Peggy or Barbara at the stick. Nobody should ever tell a wasp that flying's not a woman's job. They wouldn't believe it, any more than if it were said a girl can't be a good flyer and a woman. A woman at the same time. Yes, they talk army talk, and they wear GI clothes, but a very small, we'll call it a change of clothing, can remind her, among others, that she's still the softer, fairer sex Worried to death, she's going to get her hair wet. At this point, nobody should tell a Screen Magazine audience that a wasp is anything but a woman when she gets time for relaxation in the sun. Six months in the sunshine and in the skies can come to an end pretty quickly at Avenger Field. But to Lonnie and Nancy and the rest of the class, graduation day means that they've grown up. They're army flyers. As they know, their experience here has been no interlude for romantic adventure, but a period of intensive training for a highly important job. At the moment, there's a bill in Congress to bring them into the Air Force. It makes no difference, for as they go up to receive their wings from the top woman pilot of them all, the founder of the wasps, Miss Jacqueline Cochran, each wasp, 
like other women in other services, has achieved no little thing. She's gone into a man's world because the men needed her, gone through a tough ordeal as just a girl, and come out a girl pilot with the U.S. Army Air Force. No time to waste. Everywhere they're badly needed for ferrying duty so that the men, trained and training, can go off to fight while wasps help get their ships started on the road overseas. There is a reason for the wasps. So long, ladies. Go to it. Someday you'll be able to sit down in the evening with your husband, who will probably be flyers, and remind them that during the war, you did your part. Keep them flying, Fibonella. <laughs> <laughs>